should you use pandas correlation function? What is correlation? Correlation is defined as the association between two random variables. In statistics, it is normally refers to the degree a pair of variables are linearly related. A mandatory warning that must be mentioned when talking about correlation. Correlation does not imply causation. You would often find yourself using correlation during exploratory data analysis. In a supervised setting, it could be to see if there is a high correlation between feature and target variables, so as to decide if the dataset can be used for predicting target outcome. In an unsupervised setting, you might be using it to see if there are features that have high correlation between themselves. Such correlation could point to redundant features, which you may want to remove. Most folks new to data science would find themselves using the pandas built-in correlation function. It is a pandas data frame core as shown it here. If you look at the documentation for the function, by design it has a minimal configuration. It allows you to change the method by which you calculate correlation. For example, it provides Pearson, Spearman, Kendall Tau methods of calculating correlation. Here there are articles which you can read more about these methods. Correlation is only half the story. When we talk about a correlation between variables, what we ideally want to measure is the correlation between variables and the entire population. However, most data scientists work with a sample of data. So, if we obtain a different sample, it is possible we could have a different correlation scores. As such, we need to access the significance of the correlation values we calculated, which depends on the sample size. For the theoretical formulation of the significant test, check this article right here. From an application perspective, if pandas data frame core does not give us the p values, how do you define them out? Well, you could calculate them yourselves. Or you can use SciPy for calculating correlation instead. SciPy stats library offers all three versions of the correlation test offered by pandas data frame core. For example, Pearson, Spearman, and Kendall Tau. Using it as simple as passing in the columns of the data frame you want to compare. Consider the snippet right here in the Python code. From this output, we can see the p values and hence know how significant the correlations are. I think it is really cool for data scientists and in this way you can recognize which correlations are meaningful and which is not so meaningful for you in your business case. And in conclusion, for correlation tests on data samples, which is often what you will be working on, always calculate the p-values as well. As such, when working with a sample data, go to the SciPy start over the pandas data frame core. This is advice from my experience and I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one. Bye bye.